Hi, I'm Macy from the Qualcomm Gaming Team. It's such an exciting time in the world of mobile gaming. No other medium has seen such a leap in technology and creative expression in the last decade. At Qualcomm, we have been working on mobile gaming innovations for over 20 years. We bring you the best connected gaming experiences possible with the latest AAA games, all on a device that fits into your pocket. This technological innovation has allowed us to not only pass the time, but do so by connecting, learning, and having fun. Throughout all this technological change, we have been a leader in innovation. Qualcomm Snapdragon Elite Gaming is truly cutting edge with breakthroughs in dozens of mobile-first features. This includes delivering ultra-smooth gaming with frame rates achieving 144 FPS. We set a new bar in offering the highest HDR quality with features like True 10-bit HDR, Qualcomm Game Color Plus, and Qualcomm Adreno Fast Blend. And we were the first to bring desktop-level capabilities, like updatable GPU driver per game and desktop forward rendering. We take tremendous pride in delivering innovations that allow developers to take full advantage of the hardware to provide a truly amazing experience for the gamer. And now, here are just a few of the titles that exemplify what Snapdragon Elite Gaming is all about. While we've just seen that Qualcomm Snapdragon mobile platform is leading with mobile-first gaming innovations, let's take a look at how it fits into the larger gaming landscape. Mobile accounts for over half of all gaming revenue worldwide, and the revenue growth of mobile gaming is far outpacing other ways to play. Through this difficult year, gaming has been there to help us cope, comfort, and connect. Today, there are more AAA games on mobile than ever before, and we are seeing more high-end, dedicated gaming phones powered by Snapdragon. While freedom to play anywhere is a key feature of mobile gaming, over the past six months, fewer people have been out and about, and yet mobile gaming has exploded. People are playing 25% more mobile games this year compared to last year. So while everyone is spending more time at home, they're actively choosing to play games on their phone over all other platforms. 
one of the studios developing these new experiences leveraging Snapdragon Elite Gaming innovations is Netmarble. Let's hear from Simon Sim, president of Netmarble US. Whenever we plan our new titles, we aim to be innovative. So we always forecasting the processing power of the devices. CPU enhancement like the new Snapdragon allow us to implement console quality of graphics in our games. The improvement of chipset performance year over year from partners like Qualcomm drive us to create high fidelity games. So we can show what is possible on mobile device. We just launched A3 Still Alive with massive scale real-time battle royale mechanics for mobile devices. Gamers will continue to demand better visual quality from developers. And Netmarble is dedicated to exceeding all expectations. So stay tuned. Today, there are over 2.6 billion mobile gamers in the world, with Snapdragon being the platform of choice for Android gaming across the entire planet. There's no end in sight for the growth of mobile gaming, especially with new ways to play. One way is console-based cloud gaming, which brings AAA blockbuster titles directly to the palm of your hands and is enhanced by Snapdragon 5G. 5G gaming is all about creating new experiences, more cross-platform games, faster input reaction times from the device back to the cloud, and allowing a massive increase in simultaneous connected gameplay from anywhere. We're excited to welcome Xbox to Snapdragon devices with the cloud streaming of Xbox Game Pass. Finally, you can help Master Chief conquer the Covenant or Marcus Phoenix vanquish from Locust from the palm of your hand. Snapdragon Elite Gaming is also home to another great collaboration with Dolby. Dolby Atmos for mobile, combined with Snapdragon Elite Gaming, allows you to experience a more immersive game that flows all around you. Elite Beyond Surround Sound, Dolby Atmos puts you in the middle of the action by precisely placing every sound all around you in a three-dimensional space. And beyond the immersion brought to you by Dolby Atmos, audio latency has been cut substantially due to the recently announced Qualcomm Aptex Adaptive Audio Technologies. Building off our incredible Snapdragon Elite Gaming experiences, I want to share how we are improving the next generation of mobile gaming with Snapdragon 888. With the explosive popularity of fast twitch shooters and battle royale games, low latency from touch to on-screen action has become even more critical when it comes to esports. Esports players want ultra smooth gameplay with the best touch response times. Pro gamers demand that the hardware reacts instantly to their physical touch, which is imperative for their in-game success. In eSports, milliseconds can be the difference between coming in last place and winning millions in prize money. Snapdragon Elite Gaming is a proud sponsor of the PUBG Mobile 2020 Global Championships that's happening right now. Our relationship with the PUBG team has allowed us to see how crucial touch response times are to winning. Now, let's hear from Hot Jukes, a PUBG mobile competitor and commentator on just how important improved touch response times are to pro gamers. Hey everybody, I'm Hot Jukes and I'm a professional mobile gamer. I've competed in some of the biggest PUBG mobile tournaments in the past, and I'm currently one of the official casters for the PUBG Mobile Pro League, as well as the PUBG Mobile Grand Championships, which is going on right now. PUBG Mobile is by far one of the most popular and competitive mobile games on the planet right now. It's extremely fast paced, the graphics on it are insane, and because of that, it's also one of the most device strenuous games that you could possibly play on a mobile device. This is a mobile game that hosts tournaments that have prize pools ranging in the millions of dollars. The level of competition is insane to say the least. And if you even want a chance at competing for that kind of cheddar, you already have to have an insane amount of skill, a ton of hours in this game, and without a doubt, the best hardware that you could possibly get your hands on. It is a gold standard to have a flagship device for all of these competitive top players. And the reason for that is that this is a game where tense of a second matter. The slightest little bit of input lag, touch delay, or frame droppage, anything like that is the difference between living or dying in this game. Trust me, I know. And 
As a matter of fact, we had one team that didn't even qualify for the PUBG Mobile Global Championships because of one point. One kill is what separated them from living their dreams, competing for millions of dollars, and complete, utter defeat. Needless to say, these players will do anything they possibly can to get the slightest advantage in this game. Anything that comes out that has the slightest improvement in touch responsiveness, anything like that, that it's a literal game changer and will become the gold standard for all of these top competitive players, without a doubt. With Snapdragon 888, we have built new capabilities and optimizations to greatly reduce touch response times. We are excited to announce a new Snapdragon Elite Gaming feature called Qualcomm Game Quick Touch. Touch latency depends on many factors. For example, the timing of the display vSync and the timing of the game's frame submission. Sometimes, due to heavy game workloads, the game may miss the vSync deadline. This will result in a delayed frame. This delayed frame impacts the latency of the touch event. The game quick touch feature is optimized at the millisecond level to avoid these type of delays. Gamers will immediately experience faster response times. Snapdragon 888 with game quick touch will increase the speed from touch to display up to 20%. Even a game with a blistering frame rate of 120 FPS will see an improvement in touch response times. Every mobile game can benefit from this new feature. From taking that racetrack corner a little tighter in Asphalt 9 or going for that final kill in Fortnite. I'm also excited to announce that Snapdragon Elite Gaming is delivering another mobile first feature by bringing variable rate shading to mobile gaming. Until now, variable rate shading, known as VRS, has only been available on high end PCs and next generation consoles. Powered by the new Qualcomm Adreno 660, VRS will help reduce GPU workloads and provide significant enhancements to games. This will allow the next generation of mobile games to run faster and at higher resolutions while still maintaining the highest visual fidelity. This reduction in GPU workload also lowers power consumption for extended gameplay. When rendering a frame, the GPU executes a shader program for each pixel to compute its color. This would result in 3.6 million pixels being shaded. VRS allows developers to specify the shader program to only run once in groups of two or four pixels, and then reuse those color results for the surrounding pixels. With VRS, you can shade this entire frame using only 1.4 million pixels. That's a 40% reduction in total pixels shaded, which greatly reduces the GPU workload. This feature will allow developers to create even more immersive gaming experiences without sacrificing visual fidelity. Let's hear from some industry experts on how beneficial VRS will be to their games. Technically speaking, game development has always been a balancing act between uh, performance and visual fidelity. You usually tend to trade one for the other. So for example, in a racing game like Asphalt, we might tell it to spend most of its time on the center tiles where the user attention is and on the edges of the screen or on the road where there is usually motion blur or other post effects, we might tell it to process every second pixel, every fourth and, and, and so on. So while we get the same benefit as in the reduced resolution technique, we get the GPU to, pro to shade significantly less pixels, we don't see the drop in quality because the resolution stays the same. We're still rendering at native resolution. So uh, this technique allows us to improve performance, drop power consumption, and uh, uh, increase uh, visual fidelity all at the same time, which is very rare. The Unreal team has been interested in variable rate shading and related technologies for a while, and we are actively working on adding support for this feature for a future release of the engine. We recognize the significant benefits that developers can realize using these techniques and are really excited to see what the rendering cost savings provided via variable rate shading allow developers to do on mobile VR platforms in the future. I'm looking forward to seeing what level of performance improvements developers will be able to realize on future platforms leveraging these technologies. At Epic, we're excited to see this technology introduced to mobile VR devices via Qualcomm Snapdragon Adreno GPUs, where it will empower developers to create higher quality content across a range of devices and raise the bar for visual fidelity on mobile. This kind of innovation is what makes this industry such a great place to work in. When implemented, 
VRS will provide up to a 30% increase in gameplay performance. This allows games to run smoother and longer with lower power. It will also enable more headroom for game developers to take full advantage of the hardware and create larger, more unique experiences in the next generation of mobile games. This all comes down to creating better games for players around the world. Snapdragon Elite Gaming continues to transform mobile devices into powerful gaming machines. With new features like Qualcomm Game Quick Touch and variable rate shading, powered by our latest Adreno 660 GPU, we continue to push mobile gaming innovations even further. Snapdragon 888 provides a world-class gaming experience that will take your mobile gaming to a whole new level.